Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. The world is passing through a very difficult moment. We have the Russia-Ukraine and the Israeli-Hezbollah conflicts. We have the upcoming presidential elections. And our country is very divided on critical moral issues. So how do we know what is right and wrong? We need the moral principles given to us by Christ and handed down by the Catholic Church. And we're going to share those principles with you in this next series of rosary meditations. Now, we've gone through prudence. Prudence is the virtue, the art of making good decisions. Prudence is to choose the right action for the right reason in the right circumstances. But before we can do what is right, we need to know what is right. And that's the purpose of our intellect, to know good and evil. So how do we determine what is right and wrong, good or evil? Now the Catechism tells us that the morality, the goodness of human acts depends upon three things. The object chosen, the end in view, and the circumstances. And another way to say it is what you are doing, why you are doing it, and then the circumstances surrounding the situation. And all three must be good for the action to be good. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. So we have these three things that make up a good action. What you are doing, why you are doing it, and the circumstances. But the first one is the most important the object of the act. What are you trying to do? This is the bedrock question when you're trying to analyze whether a behavior is appropriate or inappropriate, good or evil. The first question you have to ask yourself is, what exactly 
am I trying to do here? What is the essence of the act I'm thinking about carrying out? Other moral systems jump ahead to other questions like, what's my motivation in all this? Or what are the likely outcomes? Now, those are important, but actually they're not the most fundamental questions. The most fundamental question is about the nature of the act you're about to do. What exactly am I trying to do here? And is that a good action or a bad action? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Now an important thing to remember about human beings is that our natures are a combination of body and soul, what is visible and invisible. So too, our actions have natures which are partly visible and partly invisible, partly material and partly spiritual. What that means is that you should never reduce the nature of an action simply to the action's visible or material manifestation. A human act is never just a physical act. So, for instance, adultery and marital consummation may have the same material manifestations. They might look the same empirically, but they are different kinds of actions. They're acts of a very different nature. One is a grave use of another person and infidelity and a horrible offense against your spouse. And the other is a, one of the highest acts of love but they might look the same. Or take, for example, a woman taking the pill to regulate her cycle or taking the pill to sterilize herself. It might look like the same thing, but the physical act in both cases is part of a different action. A final example. When the Jews in the gospel said, crucify him, crucify him, it was murderous. 
Yet when we say the same thing on Good Friday, it's worshipful remembrance. Same action, at least on the visible level. But really, it's a very different action, isn't it? You can't reduce human beings to just their physical component. The same goes for understanding the nature of a human act. You can't just evaluate it according to what you see or hear on the surface. The nature of acts goes deeper than that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. If an act is bad by nature, then nothing can make it right. So we're focused on the first part, what you've chosen to do. So have you decided to buy your secretary flowers? Have you chosen to donate to a political campaign? Have you decided to lie under oath? Well, the first two are fine, in themselves, but lying is always wrong. It's always wrong to perform an evil action, and no reason or circumstance justifies doing evil. One cannot do evil hoping for a good outcome. What we're saying is that some actions are always evil, intrinsically evil. They are wrong regardless of your intention or of the circumstances, whatever outcome you hope happens. If an act is essentially evil, then nothing can ever make it good. So what are some examples of intrinsically evil actions? Well, they're specified by the Ten Commandments. Things like theft, slavery, exploitation, prostitution, torture, murder, lying, sexual sins such as fornication, which is sex outside of marriage, or contracepted sex, which means to sterilize a given act of intercourse of your own will, whether through the pill or patch, but also sterilization, 
for the purposes of contraception is intrinsically evil. Things like tubal ligation or vasectomy, as well as artificial insemination and in vitro fertilization. And homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered. So again, some actions are always wrong and no intention and no hope for good outcome can ever make them good. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. So as we've said, there are many factors when we're trying to evaluate whether something is good or bad. We have to look at motives. We have to look at probable outcomes. We have to look at the duties of our state in life. But none of those factors can ever make an intrinsically evil action good. If an action is essentially evil, then whatever our motivations or however desperate our situation, we must always refrain from doing it. If we look at what we're thinking of doing and find that it's wrong by nature, like killing an innocent child or old person with abortion or euthanasia, or seeking sexual stimulation from a person to whom we're not married, or taking God's name in vain, or trying to cheat someone out of what rightfully belongs to them. If we're thinking about doing things like this, we don't need to think about it. We just need to stop. That's the baseline requirement of a moral life. Do good and avoid evil. And you can never do evil hoping for a good outcome because evil only begets more evil. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend Defend us us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So what were you reflecting on? Usually when I teach this in a class, it always leads to, when we start to talk about these things that are intrinsically evil, things that regardless of the intention, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of how difficult the situation is, You can't do certain things because Mm. they're evil in and of themselves. Usually when I'm talking about abortion or contraception or in vitro fertilization and artificial insemination, this is when, whenever I'm talking, teaching about these really tough teachings of Christ, people immediately try to come up with the most extreme scenarios to justify using evil mm, to sure. bring about good. Mm-hmm. I'm, For example, they always bring up rape and abortion. Mm-hmm. But still, the most basic principle remains. We must do good, and it's never permissible to do evil. Mm-hmm. That means that there are times in life where we're left with only two options, heroism or sin. Yeah, I think as human beings, we have this desire for that there's always three options. What would be the third one? Oh, whatever just solves everything all at once. So there's, I get frustrated with this in my own life, that I always think there's a really good option left. And I waste all of my time trying to find that option that makes everyone happy, that makes everything comfortable, that there's an easy way out of everything. Yeah. And in that hesitation, I'm letting more and more options go as well. Yeah. You usually got to accept that there's some things that have to go. And the one thing that can never go is the moral aspect. Yes. Because all of those things 
when it when we're talking about heroism might be very true that like that's the worst possible option if you're living your life from a perspective without an afterlife right because otherwise right. if you're considering at any point that it's sin or doing something difficult but maintaining your morality there's really only one logical option if you consider an afterlife yes exactly that's it that is very well stated but it still sucks yeah because why does it suck because we still have to live through the con like the consequences we have to this life is difficult yes and i think we're always trying to obviously reason is such a beautiful power but we're always trying to reason our way out of difficulty yeah that the highest good of life is not the avoidance of pain or difficulty. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, the greatest things in life are achieved through mm -hmm. pain and difficulty. Yeah. To me, the greatest example of one of the greatest examples of this is Saint Gianna Mola. Mm -hmm. Do you know her? I do not. <laughs> uh, contemporary saint. Oh. Uh, just died in 1962. Wow. She was an Italian pediatrician and she was pregnant with her fourth child and they found a uterine fibroid tumor and the surgeon recommended abortion and hysterectomy. And she said very firmly, if you must decide between me and the child, do not hesitate. Choose the child. I insist on it save him and it ended up that uh, she died from infection after the c-section delivery and her the baby now grown up was present at her canonization that's crazy yeah but she made the heroic decision mm -hmm. Yeah, when you have one objective in life, and that objective is to reach heaven, yes. it's the decisions are very clear. Yeah, because she herself could have said, "Ah, oh, well, it doesn't doesn't matter that much, and the, the child would probably go to heaven, uh, and I should be there for my kids, and there's more potential for other kids in the future." But that's all so many potentials where it's like maybe, maybe you're gonna honestly go on and be a terrible person. You, this is your one shot at heaven? Yeah. I don't want more life. I want my direct shot at heaven. Yeah. I don't want more opportunity to mess this up. Well, you've, you've really brought it back to where we started the meditation with prudence because prudence begins with the end in mind. Mm -hmm. All good decision-making begins with the end in mind. And, and this is where you've hit the nail on the head. If we begin with the end, our goal, I want to please God mm -hmm. and I want to be with him in heaven. Yeah. Then everything does become mm -hmm. simple. And so then when we're talking about the object, it's really just does the object of this action align with the object of this life? Exact very well said. Very well said. And so these where these moral principles may not be flashy for meditations they they give us a crystal clear vision of mm -hmm. life yeah it can be harder to at first think okay what how do i meditate on this or how do i apply this to my life right now but it actually it's almost so it's on such like an atomic level <laughs> that it's really hard to realize how prevalent it is yeah yeah it's it's going to affect mm -hmm. every decision yeah. we make this is going to deeply change your examination of conscience because it's it's now it's not just i think i did the right thing but did you do it for the right reason did you know you were doing it for the right reason or did it just kind of turn out okay <laughs> yeah 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 well i'm, I'm excited to go through this series with I'm you very excited. And, and to discuss it with you uh, and i'm excited to hear maybe i'm excited i don't know whether i'm <laughs> excited to hear the the uh, feedback we'll get from the people praying with us. <laughs> Maybe they'll tell us that uh, the podcast was okay, but our objective was wrong. <laughs> Could be. Well, thanks for the conversation. Thank you. And let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this 
with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.